sports are shared by student athletes, coaches, and spectators. We request your cooperation by supporting participants and officials in a positive manner. Negative comments from family, racist, sexist, or other abusive comments or actions directed to officials, student athletes, coaches, or a team representative will not be tolerated. And they are grounds for the removal of the facility. Queensboro thanks you for your support and your cooperation. And now, the starting line for LaGuardia Community College Red Hawks. Number zero, Ryan Yearwood. Number two, Matthew Newton. Number five, Cantrell Parker. Number 22, Sonny Kadisha. And number 31, Winston Ebu. The assistant coach for the Red Hawks, Anthony Doolin, Jamie Barnett, Talit Brown, Hector Nunez, Rasad Thompson. And the head coach is Ben Chopin. And now, the star of your very own Greensboro Community College Tigers. And forward, number 20, Steven Bruton. This is QCC alum David Russell along with Joe Massey. Queensboro about to play their first CUNY game of the year. They've lost a pair of regional games to Nassau and Suffolk and they also lost a few out of region games to Mohawk Valley and Jefferson. The starting five for the Tigers, Elijah Trotman, Sean Nixon, Vladimir Mitty, Stephen Bruton and James Wills. The starting five for the LaGuardia Redhawks, Ryan Yearwood, Matthew Newton, Cantrell Barker, Sonny Kadisha and Winston Egwu. LaGuardia won one, their uh, only CUNY matchup. They beat Kingsborough by 15, three and one overall. They lost to Sullivan and then beat Kingsborough, Rockland, and Duchess. And Mitty is gonna jump against Degwu. The opening tip won by LaGuardia. Look for LaGuardia to go inside a lot. They're not a big jump shooting team, at least from the outside, as Wells rebounds that mess. James Wells, third on the team in scoring for the Tigers over the first few games. David, uh, LaGuardia, a very athletic team, so the uh, Tigers uh, have to play uh, like error free ball tonight, or try to the most of the time. And Trotman with the first points of the game. I think very important for Queensboro to try to stay in the game early. Because that shot is no good. There's an offensive rebound. Egwu misses. And then Sonny Kadisha underneath and a tie-up is called. The Stephens, Queensboro was lost by 30, 44, 39, and 35. And looks, the tie-up, the possession arrow gives it to Queensboro. Looks like it won't be easy to keep those uh, Red Hawks off the boards tonight. They're gonna have to do a good job boxing out. No basket, the foul was on the floor. Or they are counting the basket. So Mitty will try to finish the three point play. Nice move by Mitty. Foul was on Winston Egwu. Mitty misses. Last year, these teams played here, and Queensboro led by 17 early and then lost by 26. Ouch. And trying to push out underneath and a little too vigorously, and the Queensboro Tigers get ticketed. Nixon with the foul. There was no basket on that one. Good ball movement by the Red Hawks. And a three-pointer is short and rebounded by Wells. Trotman to Nixon. Tigers trying to space it out. 
that was not a good pass and filling the lane with the bigger fella and he almost had a steal. Last touch by Ryan Yearwood. Yearwood had his hands on the ball then couldn't control it. He's got a lot of height as you see. He plays guard, David. Mm-hmm. Low pressure being put on by the Red Hawks. Wells, aggressive play but couldn't hit the shot. Now LaGuardia the other way. Egwu all the way to the basket, counted on the foul. Yeah, he got to the basket and then coming over top and hitting him as well as the ball went down. And the foul was on Mitty, his first. Was Mitty. Egwu averaging 17 points per game. He has three so far, 4-3 Queensboro. Newton, nice move, bounce pass to Wells is sent away. Egwu yeah, coming down now and making the block on the other end as Wills. Uh, he plays that very uh, dynamic go-to-the-basket game that he always plays, but that time he got in position to make the block. Actually, you and I commented several times we liked the way Wills played last year. He was prone to fouling out of a lot of games. That's a problem for him, but he takes no prisoners when he's out there, and he committed... Well, someone committed a foul going after the ball there, they and they're going to get Wills. Wills. Yeah. There you go. And so far, he's third on Queensborough in points, leads the team in rebounds, is tied for the lead in assists. It was tough last year. We liked him out on the court, but he would pick up four fouls in ten minutes. Yeah. And, and so many of them were in the backcourt also. He's going to have to learn to harness that a little bit. You know, he doesn't want to go full tilt on you know just about every play. You got to back off sometimes. And Queensboro ball after the turnover. Egwu couldn't control it. Trotman tried a fancy pass to Wells, and somehow Wells got it. And then Nixon wasn't expecting it. And the sub will come in for Queensboro. Joshua Bennett is in, and Trotman is out. Allen Coach Mango like the the passing. LaGuardia is still looking for their first lead. You want to try to play, uh, you know, good systematic basketball because you're not winning games right now. Jordan Littlejohn puts it in off glass, and LaGuardia has the 5-4 lead. Well done by LaGuardia. Also makes the shots easier when one of the Queensboro players wow. falls down. Bruton, a long three is no good. Yeah, Bruton had no hesitancy about going up with that three. He did that a lot in the, the games against Nassau and Suffolk here. He's, he's a, he's a big him. kid, David, at 6'3". Remember, we were impressed with him in the alumni game. He was one of the bright spots in that one. Egwu had to alter the shot, and it's rebounded by Mitty. Nixon with the ball. Bounce pass Wells, jumper, no good. Tipped and Bruton has it. Nice move and the shot off glass is good. 6-5 Queensboro. And right back the other way and a blocking foul is called. Nobody stopped the ball and Yearwood went all the way. And the foul is the second on Mitty. Yeah, the, uh, you know, they're gonna force you to get back even after made baskets. You gotta get back there. They did not get back and uh, that ends up being a two free throw situation here. First one is good. And usually that's the difference when you're taking it out of the basket. You can't run as fast, but that didn't stop the Red Hawks on that one. Yeah, it helps when you have a guy like Yearwood getting up there too. With the long legs and the strides. Yearwood splits the free throws and Wolves has it for the Tigers. Wells dribbles out, almost lost it. Nixon, Kadisha playing a little off of him. Nixon, the nice move. Rooting to Wells, and Wells puts it in off glass. Beautifully done, beautifully done by the Tigers, and uh, you know, this kid Nixon has the uh, 
the chemistry uh, to be a very exciting little player here. Kadisha has stripped by Wells. Nice bounce pass to Bruton. Counted on the foul. Defense leading to offense for QCC. You love to see that, David, the way they got up court. And everybody involved, four Tigers have scored so far in the first 409. How about that Bruton? He, uh, he can play. I mean, uh, we, we uh, enjoyed watching him in the alumni game. I enjoyed watching him practice before the alumni game. And uh, I think he can only get better. I really do. And I, I'll be honest with you, I don't think I've seen a kid come into the program with his potential. He, he really has potential. Not for a while. Well, that's a nice start for the Tigers anyway. Ben Chobe upon calling timeout. He used to play here. He played for Tom Sinickson back when he was known as yes. Benny Buckets. A lot of these guys played for Tom Sinickson tonight that are here. And one uh, of the players on LaGuardia, number 22, Sonny Kadisha, actually played for him at Forest Hills, at uh, Forest Hills High School, where Ben is still a teacher. And it's funny, uh, Sonny was actually in the CUNY for a year. He played for Hostos when Jody King was there. And now he's at LaGuardia. Dr. Jody King. Yes, Dr. Jody King, the other Dr. J. Hopefully I'm gonna see Jody at some time during the year and I'm uh, gonna send along our regards to him. Coaching Mercy now. And Bruton hits the free throw. Five points for Bruton, 11-6 lead for QCC. Also, Sonny Kadisha is the cousin of Dikembe Mutombo, who is a pretty good big man. Pretty good, yeah. Uh, okay. Well, he, on his resume, he'll say he had been to an NBA final anyway. Mm. Three-pointer by Matthew Newton. He's had about two a game so far. Averages 11 per game. That pass was well off its intended target. Let's see if David knows. Did Dikembe go to the final with Philadelphia? I believe so. I think so. Yep. And then he went with the Nets. And the Nets, right. But he was really good with the Hawks also. He would do the finger wag when he would block somebody. As Yearwood lost a handle on it. Nice bounce pass from Wells to Bruton, and Bruton finishes. How about the passes by Wells to set up Bruton? And, and Bruton has that sweeping ability. I mean, he gets to the glass, and he's able to make it happen, you know? Newton misses. Here's Bennett the other way. Ben Chauvapon probably not too worried yet. He remembers last year when Queensboro led by 17 early on. Good shot. Trotman for three. 16-9. Tigers coming out, roaring in their first home game here, or their first conference home game. Here's another three-pointer, and that one is no good. And Taylor couldn't grab an offensive rebound. Got a hand on it. I know the coaching staff told the Tigers after that last game, you guys have to want it, you have to come out, you have to play aggressively, and that's what they're doing. That shot is sent away, and some new guys in for LaGuardia. Cantrell Barker, who started. And Johnson and Moran. Uh, assistant coach uh, Simpson told me he want, they were told play hard, Less turnovers, move the ball. They've done all that so far. Good start, we're six minutes in and Queensboro leads by seven. That was tough right there. He didn't have anywhere to go with the ball. The and shot clock was running out, so Nixon. And the defender was run. closing in on him and because Nixon is small of size, he didn't have an angle to get a shot up on that. So the tough defense leads to a 30 second shot clock violation, Yearwood Nice move and the basket. Yeah, he, he gazelled it to the basket on that. Beautiful move. Nixon gets it to Wells. By the way, Bruton and Bruton and uh, Yearwood are both freshmen and two of the fine players come into the community college programs. Pass was a little behind Wells. Down to seven on the shot clock, Wells Bennett faked it, takes a jumper from the free throw line and it's no good. And rebounded by Egwu. Egwu averaging 15 rebounds per game. And a nice shot by Barker. 
16-13. Nice shot off glass, took it all the way. And timeout called by Queensboro. Good first seven minutes. Good, good first seven minutes. And um, of course, Queensboro's going to have to extend it, play uh, maybe seven minutes at a time, keep their bearings about them and not get overconfident. And remember, get back against, uh, against LaGuardia and play the defensive end. That's something that has to be done in this game. And each team spreading the ball, four different Tigers have scored. Five different Red Hawks have scored. I like what I've seen it from the Tigers so far. Um, this is a ball club that has all new ball players except for Wills. 11 new players brought in here by Carl Lomingo, who in his uh, final year here at Queensboro, I was able to secure a, a community college uh, championship with his uh, assistant coach, Teron Simpson. And they're trying to teach some of those lessons to these young players, and uh, they've had to have a lot of patience with it. Both of these coaches in their third year. But, you know, you know, David, there's a lot of uh, Tom Sinekson's, uh teaching in the building tonight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, ben played for him. Ben, ben actually went, was up for the uh, Queensboro job. That went to Robert Holford as well as his fouled. And uh, by the way, Carl, not only Amengo had a chance to play for the great Tom Sinekson, but then when he went on to the senior ranks he, uh, in college in Baruch, he had a chance to play for Ray Rankis there. So he had nothing but good coaching, <laughs> nothing but legendary coaching on this level. And I take those guys, I put them up with anybody anyway because of the type of people that they were. Got a little sweat on the court. And when you look at CUNY coaches, you had uh, Ray Amelbert, uh, 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 Tom Sinekson, uh Hassan Duncan, uh, uh, Ray Rankis, Tony Potosa, and my friend Ron St. John over at York has done a, a marvelous job over the years in Queens. Wolves misses the first one, and the foul is on Palomina Morong. A lot of good coaches have come through the CUNY ranks. Wolves splits the free throws at 17 13. Nice move by Barker. You go inside, little hook shot is no good, rebounded by Wells. Good rebound. Wells, nice pass to Trotman. Bennett, baseline jumper is good. Bennett has his first points of the game and Queensboro has a 19-13 lead. Now Queensboro's been on it, moving that ball, getting good shots. They've looked very good in this first half. Egwu almost lost it. Yearwood, good defense being played and it's taken away, but Bennett was on the line. Very tough defense. LaGuardia will have the ball with 11 on the shot clock. Yeah, Carl uh, off the bench applauding that right there. He uh, doesn't mind a bit that the ball went out. He's just exhorting his players to keep up that intensity that they have showed. Egwu. You go to Yearwood, and Yearwood puts it in off glass, using the size advantage. An outstanding young player. He, uh, he does it effortlessly, as they say. Nixon cutting through the Red Hawks and then dribbling back out. Bruton thought about launching another three. Bennett to the basket and puts it in off glass. 21-15. Nixon reminds me a lot of, uh, oh. And Bruton with Bruton. the block. Bruton with a block there. Nixon reminds me a lot of a fellow I covered at Queens College named uh, Boateng, and he was a cousin of a uh, fellow who went and played football in Florida, a real good football player, and he was a good basketball player too. And Nixon's very exciting. Kadisha tried to pass, was tipped around. The jumper is off the side of the board. 
He, he, he gives people excitement when he handles the ball, Dave. Bruton, another three. That one is no good. And rebounded and, by Egwu. And he knows where to go with the ball. He's, he's a good point guard. Egwu, the spin move, and it's stripped. And now numbers for Queensboro. Trotman going to the basket, couldn't finish. And then it ripped away ah. by Wills and put in. Where there's a Wills, there's a way. 23-15. Biggest lead for the Tigers. And traveling is called. This is the most excited I've seen the Tiger bench in a couple of years. They really are into this ball game. Defense has been a problem early on in the season. They gave up 83 to Mohawk Valley and then everybody else has put up at least 100 on them. Right now they're going after the Red Hawks. There is no hesitancy on the way they're playing. They, they're playing with a lot of confidence right now. These are all new players on the Red Hawks, by the way. This is a, a whole new team here for Ben. Trotman, blocking foul called against LaGuardia. It's going to be the second on Ryan Yearwood. It would be it would be great to see the Tigers have a comeback year this year. At least take steps towards really having a solid team with these young players. Uh, you love it, you know. Young players add a lot of excitement to any program. It's been pretty quiet for the Queensboro men since uh, Senexon left, except the one Robert Holford year is that it's taken away by the Red Hawks. Well, the good thing about this year with the Mengo is what we talked to Ben Choppingham about before this game, you get to work with the young players. There's a nice move. Jordan Littlejohn makes it 23-17. David, you get to work with the younger players and make your imprint on them mm -hmm. and, and, and start to mold the type of guy you want. And Ben was saying it's tough coming from high school where you have four years with the young guys. Now you have two at most. And a lot of times it's only one. Yeah. Egwu. And a blocking foul is called. Showing a lot of dexterity there. He made the move. Then he hung in there, got the rebound, and uh, was able to get it up to the basket and draw the foul. Scoreboard says it was number 31, but Queensboro doesn't have a 31, so I guess not. They may have accidentally thought it was on Egg Boom. Might be 30. Know. We'll see who they gave it to. It is Joshua Bennett who's called for the block. His Joshua first. Joshua Bennett out of John Adams High School. Friendly roll. I had that this morning, a friendly roll. <laughs> Egwu makes both, it's 23-19. And they move within four, so a little push being made by LaGuardia. Let's see how the Tigers handle it here. Nixon takes a three and it's no good, but there's an offensive rebound by Wells. Then a tie up is called. Benny Bucket's not happy that Winston Egwu couldn't get the rebound against the smaller Wells who kind of snuck around him. Good try at getting to that loose ball as again the diminutive uh, player Nixon had no hesitation. He made that move, a slide move, and came out of it shooting the jump shot. Newton being guarded by Nixon. Tough defense and the shot is short. It was an air ball, that's how short it was. Trotman, nice bounce pass. And then Anthony Smith got his man up in the air but then took it back out. Still 18 on the shot clock. They can still run offense. Bennett is called for a foul. Yeah, he cut in there, tried to get the shot, got a piece of his arm as he was slicing to the basket. First foul on Jordan White. Long arms, long legs for White. And uh, it tells you that he can become a defensive force at some point for LaGuardia. Right 
24 to 19. The Tigers continue to play well. And they're making their free throws too, which is nice to see. That hurt them in recent years. The charity stripe was not that charitable to the Tigers. Nice dribbling. Here's Kadisha. And Sonny finishes at the basket. Oh, that was a nice showtime play there. That was beautiful if you run that back uh, on the CD. Wells. On the DVD. Nice move, but then he missed the shot. Tipped around and Nixon has it. And threw it up. Yeah, I was trying to get it towards the basket, hoping someone would pick it up. But there is Wills again with the extra hustle. Wills has been everywhere. It's been like Charlie Hustle. 25-21. Every time uh, LaGuardia pulls a little close, the Tigers come back with a response. You like to see that. You, re you really do. The second foul on Jordan White. Wills misses the first. Tough thing for Coach Chobapond and LaGuardia. How do you really plan for James Wills? It's like planning for a hurricane. I mean, what do you do to box him out? He's everywhere. <laughs> Yeah, well, he's got experience. You know what? He's one of the more he's one of the two experienced players out there, a one experienced player. Let's put it that way. Team, he's lane definitely violation. going to be a team leader, uh, David. And there was a lane violation. Exactly, he'll shoot another one. Matthew Newton stepped in too early. I'd say he's a nice leader to have, but he, you spoke about it earlier. He's got to realize what he has to do. He has to stay in ball games. 8.35 to go. Queensboro leading 25-21. And the pass went through the hands of Egwu. Yeah, he was expecting a nice little lob pass in there. He threw a fastball right through yeah. his hands. Fired it like Brett Favre. Wasn't <laughs> expecting that. Nixon getting through the defense and the shot off glass is no good. Rebounded by Smith. Yeah, the little guy again showing no fear. He could engage it properly. Got that ball high on the board, but he got them an opportunity because then the rebound was picked off inside by Anthony Smith, who will end up at the line. Smith, a 6'3 player out of Grady High School. Nice Brooklyn, New York player coming into the program here. And you look at him, he looks like a Grady kid. A, a strong, a, a, a he's mobile, uh, and they've always had that type of player over there. And looking to make both free throws. Queensboro doing a good job on the boards against a taller Red Hawk team as Smith makes both. 27-21 as Bruton goes back in. A lot of good players out of Grady. A lot of good players out of Cardozo. We have a couple of them tonight. And that shot is sent away by Bruton. But Little John ends up with it. Spin move and the shot. And traveling is called. Traveling on the spin back into the lane on the reverse spin. The fella from uh, Cardozo is the best player on the uh, Red Hawks, Yearwood. Played right across the street. It's high school days. Smith lost it and then kicked it out of bounds. So, David, when he came up here tonight, he probably felt like he was in uh, familiar territory yeah. coming up here. Kadeem Roach. Pass that shot is no good. Great Anthony rebound. With it. Great rebound. Anthony Smith. Nixon tried to get to Bruton, but it's stolen. Little John. Little John may have gotten oh, away with traveling. Oh, yeah. It's a basket. And you Remember got a, the. He got away with maybe traveling because yeah. Anthony Smith cut him off and he had nowhere to go with the ball. And before that, uh, they were called for traveling because you can't spin like the Tasmanian Devil, which is what they were trying at the other end. That's taken away, numbers for LaGuardia. Egwu all the way, and it's good off glass. And all of a sudden, it's a two-point game. Yeah, Queen's trying to force a couple of plays. They have to be a little more cautious. 
giving the ball away, something that plagued them in their last game, and a couple of turnovers gets LaGuardia close, and they'll have to work on that now. They'll have to talk about it. In timeout, Queensboro. LaGuardia on a 10-4 run in the last four minutes. I feel like Queensboro's been playing really well, and then you look up, they're only up by two. Yeah, uh, uh, we stated that they have to stay mentally focused even though they have the uh, eight, six-point lead because these teams are basically on the same experience level, so you, you know, you're not going to take anything for granted tonight. They basically look like two talented young teams, mm -hmm. both of them, both of them. Uh, they might be right in the mix in the community college uh, battle this year. We'll see. In the CUNY, anyway. It's just turned into a nice little Queens rivalry. We, we were here for the first one two years ago. That was almost stolen. Anthony Smith had knocked away by a Red Hawk. They've gotten a little lazy with their passing right now. As you say, that Trotman goes back in. Joshua Bennett to the bench. They're going to take Bennett out. That was not a good pass at all. They've got to be a little more choosy with their passes. Trotman to Wells. Four on the shot clock. He goes to the basket, and he puts it in. Seven points for Wells. 29-25 Queensboro under six and a half to play in the first. Here's Roach. Nice kick out. Uh, the shot is no good, tipped around, and then Nixon stripped it, but right to Egwu. And Queensboro ends up with it. Trotman slows down. Good job by Kadisha to keep up. Nixon being guarded by the much taller Egwu. What, what a terrific early season game here at Queensboro so far. Tipped away. Wells tries to save it in, but he was out. Now it's funny, it was a little mismatch, so he had the much taller Winston Agro yeah, guarding Nixon. And it was tough, though, because they stepped in there and they double-teamed Wills, and they had to back it out at that point, and they tried to force the pass in anyway. And uh, They've made a few turnovers in the last couple of minutes. You're going to have to settle down a, a little bit. Roach, nice kick out, three-pointer is good. Twenty-nine, twenty-eight. Nixon to Bruton. Bruton over Kadisha, no good. And LaGuardia can take back the lead. Roach being guarded by Bruton, and Bruton strips it away. Go out. Still 18 on the shot clock. Kadisha, the two number 22s force a tie up. Again, and the ball it will was go to Wills, yeah. Yep. Wills, the team leader, has to step in and make plays, and he made one right there to try to stem the flow because it's gone a little bit LaGuardia's way over the last couple of minutes now, and they have to uh, settle themselves down, make the good passes they were making earlier. They've gotten a little careless with their passing. Some more sweat on the court. So wipe that off. Again, Suffolk, they wipe down the court like seven or eight times. Now, you know, you, you have a six-point lead. You turn that ball over a few times, and suddenly it's a, just a one-point game. That's what it is now. And, and uh, you don't want to continue to do that. You want to stop it right now and, you know, try to get that edge back that you had earlier. And uh, they're going to obviously press. They're moving up with like a zone press and uh, or they'll drop back. They'll meet him at half court. Wells to Trotman. Trotman thought about the three, then goes inside. He's in a crowd of Red Hawks, kicks it out to Nixon. Playing very aggressive defense, the Red Hawks. And they found the right man, but he wasn't able to get it to the basket. 
And traveling is called, so LaGuardia will get it back. Very aggressive defense by LaGuardia right now, and they are confusing the Tigers just a bit. Good defensive battle. And this is against a LaGuardia team that scored at least 80 in every game. It's a three-pointer, it's no good. And Bruton with the rebound. Bruton takes another three, and this one is no good. Tipped up in the air, and Trotman has it for the Tigers. Trotman overthrew Smith, and then Will saved it in, but then he threw it off Smith. Trying to make some impossible passes. Uh, you know, Anthony Smith was in the middle of the lane, but you didn't have an angle to get him the ball, and then it went all the way to the baseline. Wills tried to save it. It looks like they're a little confounded right now by what LaGuardia is doing on the defensive end. I think everybody was expecting it to go out of bounds and will surprise people by saving it in, but unfortunately, Smith was one of the people who was surprised and it went off his leg. Inside, Egwu, no good. And a foul called against the Red Hawks. Good job, good focus there to box out, make them go over your back after the miss. And that, th those are the types of things that you have to start to do if you're Queensboro to learn to win. You know, you can't get down, all right? You're struggling a little offensively right now, but you gotta win the game. and. You got to do it in many different ways. No, so Anthony Smith, who we spoke about earlier, good job there. He's at the line. Smith makes the first, and that was the second foul on Morong. He is an impressive player, and he's got the he's got the power to stay in there and fend off some of those LaGuardia Red Hawks. Smith short on the second, but then Bruton gets it, kicks it out to Nixon. You know, somebody's got to come get the ball right now. And timeout taken by Queensboro so that there wasn't a five second violation. And that was a combination of don't stop the dribble and also somebody's got to go and make sure somebody's he can pass. Somebody's got to go and get the ball and uh, these are all things you learn, but good first half for Queensboro. Uh, they had a bigger lead earlier. It's been cut to two, but you can't fault them too much tonight. Uh, they uh, last few minutes they've made uh, several turnovers. They see if they can correct that right now. And how important is are these final four minutes or three minutes and fifty eight seconds? Well, you don't want to go into halftime down by seven somehow after all of this. You just want to see them keep playing hard, though, David. You know, even if they get behind, you don't want to see them put their heads down. They came out storming. They came out with such. Intensity, you want to see them continue to do that. They led by as many as eight. Roach all over Nixon. Bounce pass to Bruton. Out of bounds, and they say last touch by yeah, Bruton. Good thought, but the ball got there too slowly, which is what Carl's telling him right now. You really got to get that mustard on that ball to get it to Bruton. So LaGuardia can tie or take the lead. They clear out for Roach, and Roach puts it in and ties the game. He's a pretty impressive point guard, isn't he? Yeah, made that one look easy. And this game is tied with three and a half to play in the first. Wills fired it to Nixon, who couldn't corral it. Long pass. Go inside, and they put it on the floor, but they say last touch by Queensboro. It was Johnson who had it, and he'll throw the inbounds pass. 24 to shoot for the Red Hawks. Good hand for that point guard coming off now. Uh, getting a little blow. He's done a good job. Egwu got right past the defense. It looked they, like he traveled again on that, David, but no call. Looked like there may have been a little contact also. The now foul is on Anthony call. Smith, his first. <laughs> and uh, yeah, LaGuardia can go into the lead here. You have to give them credit mm -hmm. for staying tough and uh, doing the things they have to do. They led in the early going. 
Because that one is short. See how they play now with their point guard on the bench, if that has any effect on them. He's a, he's a good one, by the way. 31-30. Yeah. Egg will splits the free throws. He has eight points. Most of anybody in the game. Three minutes to play in the first. Trotman. Gets it to Smith. 12 on the shot clock. Smith to Bruton. And Bruton's floater is no good. Had the yeah. soft touch. He actually lost that ball and it popped over to Bruton and Bruton made the move. Nice spin move and the basket by Jordan Littlejohn. 33-30. Eighteen seven run by the Red Hawks. Smith lost wait, it. Wait a minute. <laughs> one and one. Anthony Smith didn't like the way he was being treated in the lane and almost gave a little shove there and uh, got himself in a little trouble, but he'll end up at the line. First foul on Justin Taylor. Feels like there have been a lot of fouls, but that's only the ninth on LaGuardia. So still not in the double bonus. Uh, uh, LaGuardia has played very tough defense over the uh, past uh, five minutes, six minutes to, mm -hmm. to take the lead. The Tigers look a little confounded right now by it. And Smith misses that one. Little John is fouled. Let's see if that's a one and one. Yeah, their athleticism taking over a little bit here, David. Uh, they say two shots in the act of shooting, and that the was act, the second yeah. foul on Anthony Smith. In the act. They have a lot of big, lift, movable players, and they're starting to take a little bit of control with that front line also. That is, that is a big ball club, LaGuardia. I believe Ben told us it's the tallest in the community college ranks, so. First one is good. Little John with seven points now. He has made a difference, hasn't he? Yearwood was the guy we were looking forward to seeing. It's been Little John and Negwo who have gotten no, they, have, our they have several, uh, Dave, they have several impressive guys up front. They really do. And all of a sudden, nine points in a row from the Red Hawks and a 35-30 lead with two minutes to go. Trotman for three, and he puts a stop to that. Big shot. And they say a two-pointer. Might have been right on the line there as he delivered it. But a big shot for Queensboro. They were in a little bit of a spin, and... Now with a minute 55 to go, they'll have to play some good defense here. That was a close one. I, I don't know if that was a two or a three. Ref said it was a two. That's all that matters. 35-32. Little John throws it to nobody, and Queensboro has the ball. Where'd he go? That was a where'd he go play. And Ben hey, Buckets hey, looking at Little John like, what was that? That's what Ben is saying. Uh, who are you throwing that ball to, You throw man? it to nobody, now you get a seat on the bench. Under 100 seconds to play in the first half. He's played a nice first half, yeah, but that will has. not make his he highlight has, real. But you, you still have to, you have to tell him when he's done something uh, a, little, a little below what he should do. Nice play by Bruton, who finishes. He has nine points. And Queensborough answering right back with four points in a row. Look at this. And Queensborough could take the lead right back. Trotman, high off glass. 36-35, final old, minute. As old Howard Cosell would have said, how do you like this comeback? <laughs> how do you like that? Kadeem Roach. You like my Cosell? Am I pretty it's okay. good? okay. Okay. Johnson, under 10 on the shot clock. 
Johnson kick out Taylor, three, no good. And rebounded by Wells. Clock about four and a half seconds. Yeah, let it run, let it run, set something up here, and, and you know go out of the half feeling real good here. That's what you do. And that's what Carl's, that Mengo's telling him, just work it, guys, but move and get somebody open here. Bennett hits a three. Six seconds left. Roach back the other way. Roach, Kadisha had to go through his hands. Wills with it. Trotman, can he beat the buzzer? It would have counted if it went. Good first half. Queensboro leads 39-35. So the team's trade nine nothing runs to end it. Yeah, a game of spurts, a game of excitement, a game of two talented young teams. And uh, you got to love what Queensboro did there in the final two minutes. They picked themselves up and they put themselves back in the lead. You got to love that. And funny, Bennett, that last three took a little early. It was one of those no, no, yes moments. So LaGuardia goes on a 9-0 run. Queensboro goes on a 9-0 run. The Tigers lead by four at the half. Very exciting. Very, very, we're glad we came tonight. This is a good one. The rain didn't stop us. Not at all. Nor did the price of admission. Second half about to begin. Queensboro leading 39-35. Trotman, Bruton, and Bennett led the way for the Tigers with nine points apiece. Little John and Egwu, eight apiece for LaGuardia. That was a good first half, Joe. Excellent first half, uh, David. LaGuardia went on a 9-0 run, and then Queensboro went on a 9-0 run to end the half. Kadisha counted on the foul. And, and, and LaGuardia registers the first basket of the second half, and they come out and get to work. And that's the third foul on Vladimir Mitty. We haven't called his name a lot. He had a basket in the early going. Foul trouble will do that. Kadisha can't finish the three-point play, and Wills has the rebound. Trotman back outside. Wills with the fake, but nobody was really on him. Wells goes by Kadisha to the basket, and it's good. 41-37. Good one way, then cut the other way move. Here's a foul on Brute. Coach Mango saying when we score, sprint back. You must. I don't just admire your shot. It's Especially when you have uh, that fella on the court there, Yearwood, who can get up court with those, uh, as we said, those long legs in a hurry. Yearwood misses the first. Bruton picked up his first foul there. It's good to see he's not in foul difficulty, and neither is Wills at this point. 41-38. Right, Wills only with one foul. I don't want to speak too soon. I don't want to get him in foul difficulty. Uh, Tried to get it to Mitty, and it was taken away by Egwo. Yearwood, all the way, and he lays it in. Somebody's got to stop him, although that's easier said than done. He looked like Dominique Wilkins on that move. 41-40, Queensboro. Nice move by Mitty. Lost it, but it was last touched by a Red Hawk. Queensboro ball with 19 still on the shot clock. Little over a minute into the second half. Wills to Nixon. Calling out a play. Although Coach Amengo isn't happy. What, what do you isn't, think? You think he hear what can, can jam the ball? I think so. Yeah. Six on the shot clock. Wills. Air ball. Well contested shot. And then traveling is called. So a break for Queensboro. Yeah, they went right back after the ball and they caused that indecision and now uh, Bruton will throw in from underneath. Kadisha just fell down with the ball. So that's traveling. And now Kadisha guarding Mitty. Yeah, they be clear careful out. with their passing. And that's no good. It worked for LaGuardia when they cleared out for Kadeem Roach. The layup is good by Newton. 42-41 LaGuardia. 
So quick start, 7-2 in this half for the Red Hawks. Bruton They're playing out aggressive three, defense good. again, David. I'm sorry. Wills in the corner. Bounce pass, Kadisha over pursued, and Mitty puts it in. Good work by Queensboro. Good work by Queensboro on the offensive end that time. Yearwood, right in Bruton's face. Wow. 44 43 LaGuardia, 10 points for Yearwood. Nixon. Being guarded by Newton. Trotman. Pops a three-pointer, it's no good. Wells with the rebound, couldn't put it in though. And then a foul called. And it's on James Wells. He committed the foul after he missed the shot. Made a good rebound, a strong rebound. Uh, that happens, he just didn't put it in, but then he compounded it by committing the foul there. I think Wells has gotten to a point where if you're, the, if you're LaGuardia right now, you have to know where he is at all times. Very strong on those legs. He got uh, bigger than his size, if you know what I mean. Yearwood. No, I just picked up another quick foul, though. That is difficult. They're going to have to t maybe rest him a little bit here to preserve him. Picked up about two fouls in 10 seconds. 6-2 Wills, a 6-2 in his second season out of Francis Lewis, and they're gonna have to get him out and bring in a smaller guy in Kevin Eulis. He's 6-1. Next to go to Anthony Smith. Did look like Eulis was coming yeah, in. Yeah, did, did. And Anthony Smith comes in as Carl Lomingo rethinks that he needs a little strength out there. 46-43 LaGuardia. Yearwood with a dozen points. Game high. All right, Queensboro put to the test now without their floor leader. And Mitty shot is no good. I know there's still a lot of time left, but this is a bit of a danger time for Queensboro because previous games, when it gets away from them, it really gets away. And Little John missed a good look at a three. You gotta orchestrate things out there. Bruton Whistle. got bumped driving to the hoop. That's on number two. Mm -hmm. First foul on Matthew Newton. Bruton will throw in. You're only down by three, so don't start forcing shots. Gotta get good shots here. Bennett. That was a tough one, well contested. Another three taken by LaGuardia. This one is good. Little John, timeout taken by Queensboro. They were looking for the, the sort of effect, like a dagger three. And they got and a two on that. Yeah, they, they're saying they that was a two-pointer. Make it a five-point game, though. 48-43. So you got Wills with three fouls. You're going to have to do it w without him for a little bit. And uh, the Tigers have to remap their thinking a little bit. And that's what they're doing right now. Good timeout by Carl Lomingo before, you know, he doesn't want this game to get a little lopsided. He wants to do it right now. Good effort by the Tigers, though. You can't fault their effort. You can't fault the way they played. They're playing a very good athletic team with some big forwards who have uh, all stepped up at different times. Yearwood, let's give him credit. He's led the charge here in the second half, though. And Coach Mango could point to the end of the first half. LaGuardia went on a 9 nothing run, and Queensborough answered right back to go, hey, guys, we've, we've answered them before. Well, that's what you want, and uh, we'll see. Neither team is led by double digits in this game. This is like a game of observation. You know, you, we want to see what the Tigers have in uh, different situations. Uh, we know they've been able to play with LaGuardia. We know they've been able to rebound against LaGuardia. Let's see if they can keep doing it. Amen. 
Uh, they're going to have to use uh, Anthony. They're going to have to use... Uh, and Mitty's shot is good. They go back to Mitty with the three fouls. Good defense by Bennett. Guarding Newton. Anthony Smith right in the middle of that defense. He's going to be responsible for jostling around those big LaGuardia players. Newton misses a three and it's rebounded by Mitty. Good job there by the Tigers. Bennett. Look, let a little time run off, rewind it here. Looks like they're clearing out for him, gives it up to Mitty. Mitty inside and puts oh. it in off glass. He exploded David to the basket. He has three fouls, but he's not playing passively at all. And Mitty gets a hand on the pass. So he's made an impact since coming off the bench. Mid Mitty has some game, doesn't he? 48-47 LaGuardia, 15-24 to go. He's out of his first season out of Martin Van Buren High School, another Queens player. One point game now. Very good ball game here at Queensboro tonight. And there's a foul against the Red Hawks, pushing off. Second foul on Winston Egwo. There are a few real good Tigers. Mitty, Bruton, Wills. This is uh, this has the makings of a good ball club, solid ball club. Queens Row can take the lead back. Here's Smith to the basket and it's blocked by Egwu. Wow. Preserving the lead. And then all the way at the other end, no good. Yearwood gets no. it, and then it's taken away. <laughs> and now three on one for Queensboro, and they miss that opportunity for a moment, and then Broughton puts it in off glass. Probably not the way they wanted to run the fast break, but they get the basket and the lead back. 49-48, and then they forget to play defense. Yeah, Wardy he, comes right back down. He pushed it all the way into the lane and uh, went for the two and got hit. And Newton will go to the line. That was the second foul on Joshua Bennett. Newton, a good player in his own right in getting to that hoop. First one is good. Tied at 49. Well, uh, LaGuardia came in tonight with the three and one record, but there's been little difference between these teams tonight. Bennett lost it in a crowd of Red Hawks. Newton the other way, and a blocking foul is called. Queensboro having a little trouble with the transition defense. All the way back into the lane, trying to get position was uh, Trotman, and he just never got in front of him to pick up the offensive foul, so he uh, sideswiped him, and two Only more shots for Newton. First foul on Trotman, but LaGuardia is already in the bonus. Not even six minutes in. So that, they'll be shooting free throws the rest of the way. That'll be difficult. And uh, they, uh, Tigers, by the way, have to stay out of foul trouble with two of their big players. Newton misses both. Wills has come back in, David. Bruton, corner jumper is no good. Tipped around and Mitty has it. To Nixon. Wills. Guarded by Kadishan, he dribbles yeah, out. I, no doubt Carl Lomengo told him, if you come back in, you got to play a little more cautiously. You can't go all out, but we need you in the game. Bruton away, deep three, oh. and it's good, right in front of the Queensboro bench. Way downtown. I think he shot that one from LaGuardia. It's 52-50. And Egwo answers right back, and we're tied at 52. It's the best game I've seen this week. 
from anybody. Wills has it taken away by Egwo. Going up and he loses it on the way up, but a foul is called against Queensborough. They say it's on Anthony Smith. That's his third. So Mitty, Wills, and Smith all have three. Getting fouls basically by trying to get back a little late and hitting the bigger LaGuardia players storming to the basket. So uh, they have to do what Coach Amengo says, get back a little quicker and uh, cut them off, cut that path to the basket. LaGuardia has had a lot of fast break opportunities in this game, Dave. LaGuardia missing a bunch of free throws, although Egwo hits that one. As Sean Nixon is being attended to behind the Queensboro bench. Hopefully he's okay. Wills going all the way to the basket and puts it in, and Queensboro takes the lead back. Wills double digit in scoring, 11 points. And then Newton loses it. <laughs> Non-stop action here. And Wills back the other way. And that'll be a foul on Egwu. Non-stop, Dave. End-to-end -end excitement here at Queensboro. One of the finer games I've seen here at Queensboro in several years, mm -hmm. really. Just a terrific game. Remember the one they played here two years ago was great. Yeah. First time LaGuardia and Queensboro met. Wells misses that one. Well, they'll rematch at LaGuardia later in the year. Wells misses both. And Yearwood with the rebound. Whoa. Almost taken away by Wells. Got to be careful not to foul again, though. Yeah. And stripped away. Queensboro ball. Trotman. Numbers for the Tigers. Mitty dropped it, then gets it to Bruton. Three-pointer. Bruton from downtown. He has 17 points, 57-53. Yeah, yeah. Bruton could shoot the ball. I mean, that's another of his facets. He can shoot the ball from outside. Barker doing a lot of dribbling. That was a tough shot right there. And timeout called by LaGuardia with 12.07 to go. Dave, that one rocked LaGuardia a little bit, that three by Bruton. You love to hit those in the course of a mid-game and bring the crowd alive. And now the Tigers have the uh, momentum on their side. Let's see what happens from here. 12.07 to go. And Bruton is quite a young ball player. 17 points. You talk up, guys, but you like to see what he just did there. Just calm and collective. He went up from the corner and nailed it. And not hesitant at all to put it up, no matter how far beyond the arc he is. Well, the other fella on the other side is a good ball player, too. Let's see if he tries to push himself into the forefront a little bit now. Yearwood. Let's see what they do with him. They haven't gone to Yearwood in quite a while. He's been quiet as of late. Benchova Pond asking for a foul, doesn't get it. Queensboro ball. Tried to get a good look for the big man. I want the motion offense here. They want to space it out a bit, get people free, and uh, that Robin time... had nobody uh, to throw yeah. to, and that's another one where you want to see another white jersey go to the ball. Tough reverse pass. He didn't have an angle to throw that ball. Little John makes a move on Bruton. Bruton got the hand in. Nice defensive play. Smith lost it on the way up, but a foul is called. 
great hands being exhibited by the Tigers, Dave. Uh, you figure they're going to pick up a foul on some of these jut-ins, but they haven't. Wills before, I thought he was sure to pick up a foul. He knocked the ball away. That one was just stripped away by Bruton, and uh, they're doing a magnificent job with the hands. And that's the third foul on Yearwood. Smith makes the first. Well, you really like to get him in foul difficulty. Smith splits the free throws. They've, they've knocked uh, they've knocked LaGuardia a little out of the pace they were getting into now. Kick out, Little John inside, Kadisha misses. Yep, see, nothing easy for LaGuardia, nothing coming easy now. Trotman. Tried to get to Mitty, left his feet to make a pass. LaGuardia the other way, Yearwood. Good move by Yearwood, Kadisha with the tip in. Good job by Kadisha to follow. 58-55, 10.40 to go. Showtime here at Queensboro. These kids can play, I'm telling you. There's a lot of good ball players on that court. Biggest lead was eight points. Queensboro led early in the first half. Five on the shot clock. Somebody's got to put it up. And nobody puts it up. LaGuardia ball. If you're LaGuardia, you then keep attacking. We're in the bonus. I'm going to tell you something. You know, I was watching uh, something we did back uh, 10 years, uh, 12, 15 years ago. And I tell you, the player in the community college ranks has gotten better since that time. I mean, there, there's some great athletes out here. Yearwood to Kadisha. Wills blocks Kadisha. Tigers the other way. Bennett. Slows it down. I think it all started with those two Kingsboro players I talked about. Wills with the offensive rebound. Spin move on Kadisha and the basket off glass. 13 points for Wells, 60-55 Queensboro. Joppingham might have to take a timeout soon if things so, don't start straightening out for him. Little John puts it in off glass. A good non-timeout there because uh, he let his guys try to work out of it and Little John made a nice move. And Chobapon likes to save his timeouts for the end of the game. So we could run up, you know, drop a lot of plays at the end. It's Chobapon, right? Mm hmm. Okay. He doesn't want to call them early, and then you have one timeout in the last six minutes. So Chobapon letting them go. They made the basket. Queens row up by three. Wills to the basket, and he'll go to the line. How about Wills, Dave? Uh, he's really taking charge here. That was the second foul on Newton. They brought in, actually at Hostos, as that free throw is good. We had Johan York here at Queensboro, as you've mentioned. He was a terrific athlete. But then they started bringing them in one after the other at Hostos. And they had a fellow named Marvin Lynch. And another guy named Donald Henney. And uh, they were big time ball players. And ever since then, you've been watching some really good athletes in the community college ranks. Queens row up by five after the Wolves free throws. Nine minutes to play. Johnson outside. Little John had it stripped by Wills. Trotman picks it up. Outside, Wells to Bennett. Mitty. So I have 12 on the shot clock. Wells directing traffic. 
Bounce pass, Mitty. Tough shot is good. Mitty has 10 points. 64-57, 8.20 to go. Wow, Queensboro really uh, seizing control of this game right now. Yearwood misses, gets his own rebound, and puts it in right when they need it most. Stupendous effort there, very nice by Yearwood. He was double teamed, still picked off the rebound, put it back. We're under eight minutes to go, Trotman. Three-pointer is way off. And nobody came up to stop Yearwood who goes all the way. 64-61. Every time a team goes on a run, the other one answers back. There's nothing else to be said. It's been a, a great night of basketball here. Wells. Nobody was looking for it, and it still goes to Mitty, but Mitty misses. Here's Johnson, and Johnson is fouled. Well, some poor choices by the Tigers have let them back in the uh, area again, and LaGuardia has taken advantage of it. Second foul on Trotman, getting away from what they're doing. Trotman kind of ran an ISO and put up a three, and then a pass where nobody was looking for it. First free throw is good by Johnson. I'll give uh, LaGuardia credit for this. They, uh, they never really force the action. They know what they're capable of doing, these young guys, and uh, they kind of wait their time, so you have to be very cautious. Kadisha back in for LaGuardia. In other words, they know they have a lot of big young forwards mm -hmm. who can get up court, and if you turn the ball over three or four times, they get right back in the game. And that's what they've done tonight, a couple of times. They've scored the last six points, and a seven-point lead is down to one. Seven minutes to go. Bennett gets some help from Wills. Bounce pass to Mitty. Mitty outside to Trotman. Wills is asking for it. Good ball denial. Bruton corner three is no good. And almost got his own rebound. And a foul called against LaGuardia. Yeah, the Queensboro Tigers made that one happen by going after the loose ball. First foul on Kadisha. I think the LaGuardia guys are watching the shots instead of boxing out. A lot of second chance points for Queensboro. Second chance. We can have a potential barn burner going here. Mm -hmm. Bruton going baseline and then runs over Kadisha. Second foul on Bruton. Yeah, Bruton never never saw him, never picked him up. He was making his move, and he came in on the side and uh, was able to uh, draw the offensive foul. So now, LaGuardia a chance to take the lead. Yep, a little chant of defense from the crowd here. That's what the Tigers need right now. Yearwood going to the basket, counted and the foul. LaGuardia takes back the lead. Queensboro cannot stop him. Well, the irrepressible Yearwood That's the third taking foul on charge Bruton. again, and Bruton gets his third foul. That is a double hurt right there. Double bonus the rest of the way for LaGuardia. Smith with three, Mitty with three, Bruton with three, Wills with three, quietly racking up. Yearwood can finish the conventional three-point play. Does not. Lane violation, though, another chance for LaGuardia. Yeah, Dave, and that foul trouble could be a factor, uh, you know, in terms of playing aggressively and uh, keeping the uh, LaGuardia Redhawks off the boards. And now lane violation against LaGuardia. He didn't make it anyway or else Ben Chobapon would have really been unhappy. LaGuardia scored the last eight points. And they're gonna press. Long pass to Bruton. And then the shot is sent away. Mitty gets it back though. 
And mini shot is sent away. That's two what blocks defense, in about five yeah. seconds. Barker to Yearwood. And Will strips it and then hits the floor hard. Wow, what an effort. He didn't pick up the foul. Kept from getting hurt, too. He kind of rolled on that end line making that play. And Wills has done a good job not to pick up the fourth foul. Look, you have four guys with three fouls, and Sean Nixon is behind the Queensboro bench being attended to by the trainer. And they have, 20, they have 24 seconds to shoot, and Chopahan wants them to wants them to work something uh, with their with their power inside i'm sure you know stack it up get somebody free inside and uh, make it a little tougher for queens he knows he has those tigers in foul trouble and that's going to play a a role here they're going to wipe up a, yeah. a spot down on the baseline bruton kicks a towel away like can we play Little pressure on Queensboro right now to uh, stay in the vicinity and make a play. Egwu left alone for three and it's good. Got separation. 11 nothing run by LaGuardia and we're One under six minutes to go. One of the big guys coming in, showing us who can come out and hit the jump shot. Wills being guarded by Yearwood. Maybe he'll attack Yearwood has the three fouls. He's all over Wills. Gets it to Trotman, they're down to 10 on the shot clock. Trotman, Barker guarding him, Trotman's shot is no good. But a foul called against LaGuardia. Yeah, it looked like over top was Yearwood to try to pick off that rebound and he pushed off. In fact, they're gonna call it on 31. Fourth foul on Winston Egwu, one more and he's gone. He's been an important player for them tonight. Chobapan may have to go offense, defense. Uh, Bruton's going to have to really concentrate on these free throws. going to have to take his time. One and one for Bruton. And Bruton misses that one. It's big. you got to hit those. Looked a little tentative up there, to be honest with you. Yearwood. Will's playing a little off him. Yearwood throws up a tough shot and it's good. What a second half he's had. He's got, he's got to be near 20 now, right? 13 nothing run in the last three minutes. Out of bounds, ball to LaGuardia. Good effort, but he, he was laying on the baseline. All right, the Tigers have to remember now there's 5-12 on the clock. Don't rush things, you know, you have to play this one possession at a time or you're going to get yourself in trouble. Wills right up on Yearwood. It's past Barker going to the basket and had it stripped. Wills the other way. Wills to the basket and he lays it in. Ending a 13-0 run. It's 70-66. That one hung in there for Wills. Barker right back. That's frustrating for the Tigers. 72-66. Right back to work, Dave. You can't let that affect you. Smith had the shot altered. Kick out the jumper, Mitty, air ball. Wasn't a bad look. Just didn't go. Little John, nice pass to Yearwood. Queensboro may need a timeout. Too many of the long arms for LaGuardia out there to contend shots and make it tough on the Tigers. That last one by Mitty didn't come anywhere close to the basket and timeout for Queensboro is that uh, that LaGuardia size has taken a little bit of a toll down the end here. And the athleticism of Yearwood. Yep. A 17-2 run in, over the last four minutes. But it's not over yet. I mean, there's 419 on the clock. So a three-pointer, if you look at it, puts you right back within five, and you, you really have to play this a set at a time. And the Tigers have not been doing that. I think they've been in a hurry to try to get back in this game, and they made several bad choices. I think they really need a basket here in the worst way. 
Neither team is led by double digits, although LaGuardia is pretty close to doing that. Let's see what they come up with here, Dave. It's going to be very interesting because this game can serve them well in future games. Uh, you know, there's situations and there's situations, and you're going to have to you have to know what you can rely on and what you can't rely on, and it's a good time to uh, to start working on that. I think they'll put it in the hands of Trotman, who's been the leading scorer over the first few games, about 15 per game. Plus, he could dish it to Wells, or he could dish it to Mitty, or he could dish it to Bruton. I kind of think they're going to get the ball to Wills and, and let him go to the basket and see if they can pick up a foul if he doesn't hit it. Some pressure being put on by LaGuardia. Wills with the ball. Now Trotman, who's left alone, three-pointer was tipped. Good recovery by the defense. That shot's no good. Tipped in by Bruton. I Seven. tell you, Bruton's played a heck of a game. I'm sorry. 74-68, under four minutes to play. Newton, he turned Trotman around, couldn't finish. A missed dunk and Queensboro comes back the other way. Numbers, Wills, misses. Trotman the offensive rebound. And Trotman is fouled. <laughs> Every time you think somebody's gonna pull away, the other team comes back. Once again, LaGuardia made it tough for them, though, to get that ball up to the basket. Just another reminder that their athleticism and size has played a big role in the, this stretch, in the stretch. Uh, Queensboro, you know, getting a little worn down, perhaps, and they have to stay with it. 74-69. That size will take a toll on you after a while. You have to make good plays, sharp plays. Trotman makes both at 74-70. I forget who it was that said you, you can't teach size. Tipped. LaGuardia recovers. Get behind the defense and a foul called on Anthony Smith who was saying, hey, I went straight up. But so all right, he prevented the basket. Except it's the fourth foul on Smith. So Mango may have to do a little juggling in the last 3.33. That's all right, they're within four, and uh, you hope he misses these free throws here, if you're Queensboro. It looked a little, uh, a little off on that one. Uh, I looked at the basket a little too long. The idea at the free throw line's not to aim them. <laughs> Misses both. Still a four point game, three and a half to play. Trotman. Motion, they're running motion again and uh, somebody's gotta get free along that baseline and try to reverse the ball. Now a lot of off the ball movement, but he finds Bruton who lays it in. Bruton, Bruton, Bruton for three and it's off the side of the board. All right, get back now, get back, uh, is what Amengo is saying. You're right back in the game, you're two points away. Bruton has 21 points. It was a very exciting shot and then went off the side of the board. Two point game, pressure by Queensboro. LaGuardia breaks it. And a charge and Egwo is fouled out. Wow. Chobapon left him in with the four, and he picks up five, and he's done. Well, you have to give high marks to the Tigers for aggressiveness, stay to itness, uh, a lot of a lot of gut being shown by this Tiger team tonight. Remember, the teams had matching nine nothing runs in the first, uh, and then uh, Laguardia had a 17-2 you know, run. Now Queensboro has scored six in a row. Laguardia may be a little more talented, but Queensboro is really dug in here at home and they're giving them everything they can handle. And the size advantage is one of the, we thought could be a big difference for LaGuardia. I like the makeup of the Tiger team. LaGuardia has a lot of big guys who can move and hit the open shot when they have to. And so Tigers have played right with them, right with them. And you have to love that, David. Uh, nope. Can't ask for anything more. 
except to bring this one home and uh, looks like uh, maybe they can do that let's see 259 in the game Queens Row can tie or take the lead Wells, Wells is going to handle the ball a lot I know that Mitty almost had it taken away Trotman nice fake Going inside and had stripped by a Red Hawk. Queensboro will keep it with 15 on the shot clock. Bruton will inbound. Now would be the time to get Wills lost in a few screens and get him the ball. It was Smith right underneath, but he lost it. And Wills on the floor. And they call Kadisha for a foul and he starts running away because he can't believe it. Manchovapon is going, what are you doing running away? Get up to the line. These are big free throws for Bruton. He has to uh, calm himself a little bit. I think he got his finger jammed a little bit there. In the and process. now we'll wipe some more sweat off the court. He's trying to blow on his finger, Bruton. I think he uh, might have gotten it twisted a little bit in that scramble. See how it affects him at the line. This is like bowling. Bruton misses the front end of a one and one. No good. That one hurts. Two and a half to play. Barker. They go inside, the tough shot is no good. Tipped again, no good. And the putback is good. And a timeout taken by LaGuardia right off the make. Great effort. Great effort right there to get them the four point lead. I don't think I've ever seen a coach unhappier after a made basket. Yeah, I don't think he I don't think he liked that initial shot, but they did go after it and he got his rebound and I think he's trying to tell him, you know, don't think that's gonna happen every time though. Yeah. yeah. And we got a uh, we have a two point lead. That's not what we wanted to do right there. Red Hawks leading 76-72, 2.23 to go. Well, this game has been everything you could ask for in terms of competitiveness. Just a, a marvelous early season game. Now, it's interesting. This is the first close game for a lot of these Tigers to see how they respond down the stretch. There's a lot of freshmen, and they were blown out four times. This is the I first really still, good game. I still think they can pull this thing out. Let's see. They're right in it. 2.15 to go and no need to rush. Wills with the ball. Bounce pass to Trotman. Trotman, a long jumper is no good. Kadisha with the rebound. Now it probably wasn't the shot they were looking for. We're now under two minutes to play. Yearwood running a little clock here. A lot of good efforts tonight for LaGuardia, but I think Yearwood has been the player that you know they depend on, and he's made a lot of big plays. And there's a big bucket right there. Hey, Little John hasn't been bad either, and he hits that one at 78-72. Will's right back the other way, moving traffic. It's no good. Mitty gets it back. Mitty puts it in. 78-74, 80 seconds to go. Little John gets it up to Kadisha. Little shot off glass is good. 80-74, back and forth, up and down basketball. You might need a three in the mix somewhere here. Well, one minute to play. LaGuardia up by six. Tried to go over the top. Anthony Smith got it, a spin move, and he'll dribble out. 50 seconds to go. Trotman thought about a three, goes to the basket, was too close. Wills gets it back on the floor, out of bounds, LaGuardia ball. With 44 seconds to go. And I think you may have to foul here if you're Queensboro. Maybe you try to foul in the backcourt. You foul right away if you don't get the ball. Up ahead to Kadisha, and Kadisha is fouled. 
Took about five seconds. That's not terrible if you're Queensboro. You sped them up. Kadish has done a nice job at times tonight. Uh, and, they and, have a lot of ball players. They really do. Anthony Smith is fouled out. So he's done with 39 seconds to go. How about Kadisha with the beard looking like one of the veteran NBA players? <laughs> a tough looking guy. Misses the first one. Queensboro just hanging around. It was tough. They got to within two, and then Bruton missed the front end of the one and one. Well, Tigers, uh, let's see if they go for the three right away here. They may have to. It's 81 74. Now it's an odd combination, too. It won't be two threes that'll get you back, so. Down to 35 seconds to go. Last touch by LaGuardia. Queensboro avoiding a disaster there. 35 seconds to go. Gotta go quickly, Bennett. Tough defense. Wills to the basket. And Kadisha is called for a foul. Ben Chobapon can't believe it. We gotta play this one right down to the end because you never know. He makes the free throws, they go after the ball, put it in, and then they're uh, a three pointer away. So, uh, Game's not over, no. and you can't treat it that way. Let's see if he can make the free throws, though. First one is good. Wills with 18 points on the night. I think Ben might be trying to get the free throw shooters into the game. He's got himself a pretty good young ball club, I would say. Wills makes both. It's 81 76. Let's see if Queensboro goes for a steal or if they foul right away. They go to Yearwood and Mitty fouls him immediately. You have to. That's the fourth one on Mitty. You leave a lot of time on the clock. You leave 23 seconds now and put the pressure on him to shoot the free throws. Yearwood has been pretty good at the line tonight. 81-76. Queensboro wants to get back in. LaGuardia is going to have to miss some free throws. The reminder that Yearwood is a guard and look at the size of him. Misses the first. And as a guard, you're going to have to shoot free throws at times. All right, so if he hits this one, it's two three-pointers away. 82-76, still a two-possession game. Let's see if Queensboro goes for the three here. Bennett attacking, going all the way, and a charge is called. A little surprise they didn't go for the three, because even if that goes, it's still a two-possession game. And that's the third foul on Bennett. Yeah, that foul put them in a very difficult position now because they're going to have to commit another quick foul right off this inbound. They're also hoping Mitty doesn't If they have don't to steal it, of course they can't steal the ball here. Tipped, Yearwood saves it in. That was dangerous. And Bruton commits a foul with 14 seconds to go. Dangerous pass. They almost came up with the ball, Dave. If LaGuardia can hit these free throws, I think they will, uh, they will forge the victory if they can hit these. First one is no good. Free throw shooting under these conditions, never easy and never a gimme. This is huge. Yep. Either a two or three possession game after this free throw. Still a ball game. 83-76, that's big. Timeout taken by Queensboro. 
now, uh, uh, you know, you, you got to really push it now if you're the Tigers. Get a quick bucket, and uh, and you got to get a steal if you're gonna if you're gonna hang in this ball game. It's probably got to be a three, a steal, maybe a foul. A little help if you miss free throws. Uh, you know, the way teams come back in this type of situation, usually uh, usually a whirlwind of change, and before the other team even knows what's going on, the game is tied, and that's what's going to have to happen here in 14 seconds. I I don't see it, but uh, you never know. So you stay stay faithful, and you hope that maybe they can turn the trick. But nothing to be ashamed of tonight. They have played every bit of a ball game here tonight. Uh, and in, in looking at this LaGuardia team or what they have to work with, I'd have to say they're, they're going to be one of the top teams in the CUNY this year. You can't it's, keep LaGuardia's offense down. They had 35 in the first it's half. It's a young now. team, and it's only going to get better, I presume. Unless they hit a roadblock somewhere, and uh, I don't, I don't know if that's going to happen. Got to keep everybody eligible. That's been their problem yes, the first two yes, years. Yes. Yeah. Down to ten seconds. Trotman lost it. Trotman to the basket and misses, and that will do it. Laguardia is going to escape. Well, they earned that victory. They really did. They earned that victory. Uh, uh. Neither team led by double digits the entire night. Red Hawks with the 83-76 win. A lot of impressive players, but it was really Yearwood who led the way. Especially in the second half, just had that stretch where he couldn't miss attacking the basket. I would say uh, he led the way. He's the top player on this team. The player out of Cardozo High School. Congratulations to him. We saw a Queens product turn in a Queens product tonight along with the rest of the players and the Queensboro Tigers who really put on a good show here tonight and they uh, have a lot to look forward to I think this CUNY season. Very good performances by Bruton and Wells in defeat. But Trotman had double digit scoring, Mitty, Bennett had nine. Now look at the other guys on the Red Hawks, Little John and Egwu. I'll tell you, Dave, if you're going to lose a game like this, you want to lose it early in the year, and you can be very hopeful about it. I know they say there's a, there's no no moral victories, but, you know, when you're dealing with a young team and it's early in the year, yes, you can build a little bit of a, uh, an enamel and say, you know, we can stay in games and we can win games, and we're going to work on it. And you usually get a little grace period to work with. Yes. You're not supposed to look like world beaters on the first day. That's right. So good luck to the Tigers. They put on a good performance tonight. Any final thoughts? They put on a good performance, <laughs> and if they play like this on a night-in, night-out basis, I would say they're going to win a few games this year. Well, thanks for listening. For Joe Massey, this is QCC alum David Russell. The final score, LaGuardia 83, Queensboro 76.